Hey everyone, Keith McGowan, The Outboard Dad. Please like, subscribe, and send me any comments you have about either this process or another boat you might be working on or outboard motor. Okay, let's get back into this. I'm gonna see if I can get that distributor cap off. Torques. So I think I'm going to have to take this bracket off in order to get to that. So back in this stern section, I'll call it. Everything on the motor is pretty badly corroded. I'm looking at this fork that holds the distributor in place. I can't see there's a lot of pine needles and stuff down there. Something tells me Hector has pine trees. So pretty badly rusted. Still okay, it's not rotted out, but looks like the distributor goes through the manifold on this model. I'm going to unplug the wire off of it. Pull out distributor. Let's see if there's another bolt back there. Just to be sure. I'm not seeing one, so should come up. Okay. Hoping to do is get it just enough out of the way to get this head off. Probably take this alternator off and everything else, but I see also some heat damage here from the wires that go down to the starter. Looks like they were rubbing up against the exhaust manifold at one point. So let's see if we can get this head off of here, or if I should wait for a friend. So it looks like this alternator bracket's mounted to it, so that's got to come off. There's another bracket back here. Looks like it's just a bracket to hold parts back here. But we should disconnect that as well. Let's get those parts off of this. And then that head should come right off. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm dying to get inside here. Okay. Let's move this over here so it's not binding on anything. I know someone's probably thinking, why don't you loosen that belt? that belt off of there. It's probably not a bad idea. This is probably too long. I don't think I brought a shorter, oh yeah, I do have a short extension. Is there an idler pulley on this?
Got to talk Hector into getting some outboards. All right. Get my flashlight back. All of our push rods falling in to the hull. Looks like we got one intake stuck open, two intakes stuck open, <clears throat> and a whole lot of rust. Just like we saw when we scoped it. It's like we're going to have to disconnect this fuel rail up here, too. Um, Try and do it without making too much of a mess. Ultimately, it has to come off. So, I think I'm going to look at the fittings and see if I can get some plugs for it, maybe. Um, we'll see how it's connected to the fuel rail here. Looks like there's just a couple bolts. Or maybe we can get the intake manifold out of the way if we move some hoses over there. So, that's all for tonight folks. We're going to return with my buddy, Mike Epps. So please like, subscribe, and send me any comments about me dropping tools, maybe, about I don't, shouldn't be doing this because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue on. I'm looking at these cylinders now. This is what I was dying to see. And these we might be able to hone up. We'll see what the pistons look like. If we can get them out, the question is what is seized? Is it the pistons that are seized here on the cylinder walls? And that's why the uh, engine's not turning over? Or is it the crank that got all full of water and rust? Then we got a whole different ball game. So ultimately this motor's gotta come out, but we're gonna continue disassembling this, get the other side off, get all the parts off of this. I'm gonna watch some videos and ask a buddy of mine that's a inboard outboard specialist on disconnecting it from the outdrive here. We probably have to pull the, the outdrive off and the gimbal housing off. Um, we'll get that all apart. We're going to see what we can do. So you, everybody have a great night and look forward to seeing you on the next Outboard Dad video.